about that relationship. I also let go of a method of contact with um, my sister. Basically, as sad as it is to say, my sister is a drug addict. And she has been since as long as I can remember. Um, we're six years apart. She's six years older than me. She is a biological mom of three children. Um, now they are actually two of them are adults now. And then she has a 12 year old son who lives with his grandparents um, about two, hour, two and a half hours away from here. And the other two have actually were legally adopted out um, by their other grandparents. Uh, you got a ball? Ball. Yeah, is it? Um, but they were legally adopted out by their grandparents um, when they were like 12 and 11, I think. And now they're 19 and 18. Um, so, I mean, that just shows you right there. That's how. That's partially how long she's been on a user. Um, and I mean, I think I was like 15 when I knew that she was, was addicted to meth. Um, we have different parents. My, we have the same dad, different mom. Um, but that never, ever really made us close. We were close, I guess, when I was a kid, like when I was little, but I don't remember that part. Um, recently she has been breaking and entering, you know, like staying in people's like trailers and stuff, thinking that she wouldn't get caught. Um, she's pretty much burned like every single bridge, every single person, except for her parents. Um, and I'm sure a few, is that icky? Did you try to eat the flower again? Don't eat it. Flowers are not for eating. Ick, ick. Um, and I haven't, I personally haven't talked to her physically. I have not talked to her in, well, since my birthday, but that was an exception. Um, but before that it had been two years and she always posts things on Facebook, like memes, like every single day, all hours of the day, 24 hours straight, just posting all these memes. And she tries telling people that it's not her, that these pages are posting automatically for her. No, honey, you're in tweaker time. Like, I imagine that when she's high, she doesn't even realize how many click, 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 post, 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 post things. But that's all we see of her. That's like, we don't actually see her life until she gets in trouble. Um, and so this last time, a couple months ago, she actually did wind up getting in trouble, um, getting a breaking and entering um, thing and then uh oh possession um ew think that not where flowers go but thank you flowers don't go in mama cleavage <laughs> um but uh she basically like got a slap on the wrist you know and like no jail time it's like let's just have her do drug court i'm like oh that's gonna work out yeah. real well because it's not like you know in the last 20 years we've never thought about that um, or, you know, have her go to treatment. And, um, she's one of those people that, like, chooses to live under a bridge with her abusive boyfriend, who she also abuses, and then cries to us for help. And I just, I can't do it anymore. I just, my patience has ran up, and I'm sure I'm gonna get some, like, grief for this. Um... But I should have hope and I should keep out, you know, keep patience and and I should keep believing and I should be there for her. But you know what? I can't remember the last time she was there for me without something in, like something that I would have to owe her la later on. Um, in my lifetime, she basically has hung out with me so that she could take my clothes, borrow my clothes and never give them back. Um... She stayed with me a couple years ago in an apartment that I had, and she wound up stealing all of my money. 
and all my change. Like, I had this big change jar, and she even used the, like, Canadian money that I had, and money that I had got from when my best friend went to Germany. Somehow my sister was able to use that. I don't know, maybe pawn it. Um, I've basically helped take care of her kids, and she has not even really yeah. met any of mine. Um... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> he fell. Um, but, uh, like, we really, we've never had a relationship. Never had anything that was beyond, like, what I could give to her. Or, like, if she needed, you know, she'd call me if she needed cigarettes. If she needed a ride. If she needed money. If she needed... Um, a ride for somebody else, um, if she needed clothes, if she needed food, um, and about five years ago when my husband and I got together, um, and everything went crazy on that end, which is a whole different story, but everything basically went from having, like, his kids every other weekend to having them full-time, and then I already had two, and so there was just no extra money, you know, for for that and I just had to tell my sister like I can't be the one to buy you cigarettes anymore I cannot be the one to like give you food because I don't you know we're struggling as it is to provide for our family let alone have an, a grown adult who refuses to work um always coming and asking us for a place to stay or you know for money or for cigarettes or whatever um and so I had to make that decision that you know, I couldn't help her anymore, and ever since then, I really haven't heard from her at all. Um, the only time that I really do is if she's if she's clean for, like, a day. And then she'll message me on Facebook and be like, oh, I miss you, I love you, you know, and I'm like, I miss you and I love you too, I really wish that you would get better, like, we believe in you, and... We really, you know, we all have hope that you'll get off drugs someday and be a real person. And then I don't hear from her again until she, like, there's been a few times that I've been the mean person and, like, had to, like, knock her back into reality, you know, and and um, then I get called names. She tells me that uh, if I'm not going to support her or... Um, be positive in her life then she is not going to like this last time she told me that she's not going to allow me to rent space in her life and I'm like bitch we don't even talk so I don't know what you're talking about um and I know I know that that's the drug addict part of her talking and I get it but it still hurts and it still weighs me down and so um now, like, okay, so now she's in drug court, and, um, nothing's her fault. She actually got arrested. She's in jail right now because she has low creatine, and the drug court personnel are saying that they're guessing that she is, you know, like, drinking a bunch of water so that, um, her drug test that she has to do every day, her UAs, come out clean. Um, but her mother who is the biggest enabler on the planet. Um, well, she goes back and forth. Sometimes she does, and then other times she doesn't. Basically, when nobody else is there for Erin, then her mom is. But if everybody else is there supporting her, then her mom isn't. So anyways, but she um, was like, oh, she has diabetes, that's why. And she carries a credit around with her. Like, in the last 32 years that I have been alive, I have never heard anything about her having diabetes. I know she doesn't have a spleen. I was there for that surgery when she was high as fuck and wrecked um, a quad or whatever. Her boyfriend, abusive ass boyfriend, beat the shit out of her. And then they got made up and got all drunk and they wrecked a quad or like an ATV or something. And he nearly killed her. I was there for that one when I had to go to the hospital and tell my sister goodbye because she had like a 5% chance of living. And then she like miraculously sprung up and rose again. Um, anyways, uh, but yeah, so she's in jail right now and, you know, making up excuses. It's everybody else's fault. Like she's not the one that has been tampering with her UAs like somebody else has. And, 
you know, it's all these diabetes and, and stuff that nobody's ever heard of. Um, she used to tell people that she, like, if she needed money, oh, get this, get this, get this. She would tell people that she had breast cancer or stomach cancer. She has also told people that she has had miscarriages when she's already got her tube, like everything. She's got a hysterectomy done, um, which I was there for that one. And then about six months later, she told people that she was pregnant with twins. And I was like, that's not possible. Like, you don't have the, you don't have the mechanism to become pregnant with twins. And then about two months later, right around the time that she would have been like eight months along, she suffered a miscarriage and she lost twins. And so she started a GoFundMe account um, to have people help her pay for their funeral cost um of these twins that never existed and guess what she did with the money she probably got high um and then she used to tell us that she um oh needed back surgery what else did she do um cervical cancer um yeah i don't honestly there's been so many times that she's been almost dying and people have sprung up from amongst, ow, <laughs> you know, the world to help pay for her and give her money and a place to stay and cigarettes and whatever she would need. And then just for like us to never hear about her results from the doctor's office. Hmm, weird. Um, <laughs> thank you, big boy. Thank you, boy. Ew, don't eat flowers. Yeah, it's a gross. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep trying it. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. I like I feel bad sometimes, but like but then most of the time I don't. Um my like what's that song? Oh, my give a damn's busted. Yeah, my give a damn is busted. Like, I'm, I've moved on to, here's a quarter, call someone who cares. Um, and it doesn't mean I don't love her. It doesn't mean that I wish harm on her. It doesn't mean, you know, that I, like, if she ever did get better, that I wouldn't want to have a relationship with her. Because, like, I do love her. She's my sister. She's, I've longed, <laughs> I've longed for a relationship with her for, well, since as long as I can remember, um, I've been over backwards for a relationship for her. I've been burned by her so many times. I can't even count. Um, she's, let's see, I'm 32. She's 38 years old, going to be 39 in December. And I don't know if I'll ever have that relationship. But I also know that, like, I can't enable her. I can't, I cannot be there for her once she's fully fallen. You know, like, I can't just tell her, like, it's okay. You know, I forgive you. Because I don't. I don't forgive her right now. And that's something, like... I'm trying to work on. It's one of those things that I'm letting go of. Um, I guess I'm like letting go of the guilt that I feel for not enabling her, if that makes sense. You know, like, oh my queasy. I'm just letting go of that aspect of my life. And because it's something like a huge burden it's a huge weight that I have on my shoulders. So I wound up um, deleting her off my friends list off Facebook. Um, so I didn't have to see her post of like how good she's doing and that she does no wrong posts that come up. And I just. Yeah. I don't know. Doesn't mean that I'm not going to pray for her. Doesn't mean that. I don't believe that she can 
come out of this. It's just that I letting go of <laughs> my role in it until and I just hope and pray that someday maybe like she can get clean and sober you know for a year and at her year mark or something that we could talk and we could hug and we can figure out if we would ever actually have a sister sister relationship and I just hope that if that day comes that she knows that I love her and I didn't ever give up hope I just I just can't use I don't have the strength left If you ever watch this, Aaron Rose Ogden, I've loved you since the day I was born. You've been, there was a time in your life, in my life, that you were an inspiration to me. I remember when you used to write poems, and of course you probably were high as fuck, but you were really good. And you used to draw me pictures, and you used to take care of me, and you used to protect me, and you used to love me. I remember. I remember that there was a time that we were sisters. And I wasn't just a person that you hated because I wouldn't supply cigarettes or a house or a place for you to crash. Or believe your stories believe your lies that you used to like manipulate people to get you know what you wanted I remember there was a time that we loved each other and I just can't do it anymore I just hope that someday you know that I loved you the whole time and I just pray that I don't have to bury you. I really do pray that you get clean and sober and have a life and live fully. But I just can't enable, enable you and I just can't be there when you hit rock bottom because I have a light. I have my kids. And, like, you're the big sister. You're supposed to be the one that's there for me. Aww. Not the other way around. But I hope... I hope that you know. That I'll always love you. I didn't mean to cry. I just... I'll uh, touch back later and tell you guys how how I'm dealing with with this some more. <laughs>